He has stepped in a role in order to take care of another man's kid. A live-in step crash dummy. Wind up getting knifed off. She jumped in the car with his kid and the other kid from another dude that was out of state. Jumped on the freeway, pushed the kids out in the traffic, put the eight-year-old in the nine-year-old's hand, jumped on the freeway, pushed them out in the traffic. The baby fell over. The cars ran over the baby. I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm flying. I actually did the whole story today. This is a real life thing. A real life thing. Car ran over the baby. The nine-year-old was able to get over to the side median. She jumped in the car, did 100 miles an hour, and ran into a tree on purpose in order to kill herself. End of story. End of story. End of conversation. Wild shit. I was also looking at a video the day before that. Day before that. Daddy. He the father. He a lawyer. He's representing his son that's gotten a divorce. His son. This is in Vegas. The son got a divorce. The person he got a divorce from married the father's ex-partner in the law firm. So the father... And his colleague used to work in the same law firm together. The ex-colleague is fucking on the son's wife. The son is fighting for custody with the wife and the ex-colleague is representing her. The father just said, fuck it, killed them both and then took himself out. Another tragedy. If you going to sit here and tell me that this shit is normal. Because overwhelmingly, the majority of the problems that happen in our society is tied to relationships. I tell you that you a fool and you lying. I'm going to tell you that you a fool and you lying because I don't believe that shit. I don't believe it at all. You can't convince me. Not even a little bit. You can't convince me. But yet I'm supposed to be sitting here quiet as a church mouse, not even having a conversation. I see women want to have this conversation about the 4B movement. It's blowing up online. I don't know how. It just started appearing in my algorithm. People start sending it to me in my email. 4B movement. Let me read it to you. I'm going to pull it up. I'm unprepared. 4B movement. This is the 4B movement. This is a feminist movement that supposedly started in South Korea. These are the rules of the 4B movement. Four rules. Number one, no sex with men. Number two, no child rearing with men. So you don't want to have sex with men, but yet you're going to have a child, just not with men. Okay. Number three, no dating men. Number four, no marriage with men. Sounds like a recipe for, for disaster. Let me say it again. These are the four no's. No sex with men, no child rearing with men, no dating men, and no marriage with men. This is the 4B movement. This is the feminist movement uh, in South Korea. And so it would, seem, it would seem as though this is something that's a big deal. Like this is a huge movement that's happening all across South Korea and that other cultures are starting to embrace this. And so that's the narrative that's being said. Now, interestingly enough, I have been looking inside of my comments on some of the videos that I have been reviewing, and I have been seeing a little bit of tinkle in here and a little bit of tinkle in there, and it was like, yo, you need to start checking out the 4B movement. Women are saying, oh, you need to start checking out the 4B movement. And then when I went on Hartley Initiated, and I looked in the comments to see what the sentiment is, then they said, yeah, man, we need to check out the 4B movement. And I said, what the hell is the 4B movement? So I looked it up, and it said, no men, no men, no men, no men. And so I got a little curious. And you know me, I can't just take what people say and what their word is. I can't just take what they say and what their word is. I got to go and research it for myself. So I go and researching and I'm looking at different videos and I'm trying to understand it. And what I found 
was that it is a small, minor, minimal movement in South Korea in which hardly no one, very rarely, you know how it is, whoever got the biggest microphone or whoever say the most negative stuff usually gets the most visibility. And so that's what's happening. It's a small, small, small minority of female, we call them fem cells, but female incels that has gotten rejected and didn't get the results, didn't do what they were supposed to do in order to get married. And so what they did was they created this small little teeny tiny movement that everybody and every woman over in South Korea is against. As a matter of fact, South Korea is very much just like Chinese people. They just like every other culture, Arabic, Arabic people, all of that, right? And that they absolutely positively, I just did a review video the other day, believe that by the time you get 30, if you're not married, your chances of getting married is slim. Slim to none. And I'm talking about the women. It's so much of a big deal that the women get married that they have the one of the biggest booming markets of matchmaking services. And those matchmaking services does not pair you with the Disney theory, right? The Disney theory is that old is handsome prince that's rich. He's going to come and save you. No. It actually pairs you with somebody that you're more compatible with when it comes to where your socioeconomic status is, your mindset, your background, your parents, and all of that stuff. So the things that your parents did in order to put you in a position that you are today, good or bad, is going to factor into whether or not you qualify for this man, this man, and this man. And sometimes those men still don't pick you. And by the time you get 32, 33, 34, 35 years old, you're looked at as, as old goods. It doesn't even matter if you have a kid or not. If you have a kid, then you absolutely is looked at as a leper. This is the cultural norms over in South Korea where they say it's the 4B movement, right? Now, when you take that into consideration and you realize that women are desperate, I mean feverishly desperate, did my own research, feverishly desperate in order to find a man that ultimately is going to marry them and then they're going to live happily ever after. Now you have this 4B movement proliferating because we got online segment and social media proliferating within the black community. And guess who the ones that's adopting it the most? Gotta be black women. I said, Jesus Christ. If we are not the most attracted to some of the most trash stuff that I've ever heard of in my life, God help me. I think we cursed. I think we cursed. Have to be. Have to be cursed. How is it that we can, we can find a small, minimal, minute movement in South fucking Korea? Not Japan. Not China. None of that. Not even in Seoul in South Korea. I'm talking about the outskirts of fucking South Korea. And somehow, some way, black women have tied themselves to this and said, we have to embrace it too. How is that possible? How is it that we can find the worst thing for us in the smallest corner in the, of the earth and say, ah, that's me. We're going to go ahead and embrace the 4B movement. What the fuck is wrong with you? Listen, men that don't even care for and dog out women would never want to live in a world without women. That's how backwards you are. You didn't learn from the first time that you adopted the feminist movement, the first wave, second wave, third wave. You didn't realize that it wasn't for you, but they used you in order to become a double minority or become a minority so that they can then level up and leverage the, the shit that they was already putting their men through in order for you to go through the same thing. And you fucking fucked up your family. And now you out here doing a scissor kick with another chick. You don't get it. You don't see it. You don't understand it. Are you that much of a fucking weirdo that you don't really get it? You find the smallest, dumbest stuff, and you say, that's me. We're going to go ahead and attack. Even men, think about this for a minute. Men that are some of the most abusive, stubborn, dumb, idiotic, don't even want to be in a world without women. 